One of the best secret features of Speechify is the ability to import articles from Safari really easily. The way to do this is to open up Safari, click the share extension in the bottom right of the screen, in the bottom middle of the screen, swipe all the way to the right, and then click the more button with the three dots. Swipe all the way down, and you'll find Speechify here in the bottom. The first thing you want to do is click on this toggle to turn it on to be green. Then click on these three lines, drag it all the way up, and click done. From that point on, whenever you click this share button, Speechify will appear. Doesn't matter if it's in Safari, inside the New York Times app, um, or even from your notes file. Once it's there, you can just click on Speechify to share the file into your Speechify library. So in this case, I'm just going to save this New York Times article to my library. I'll go and I'll find another article, this time from the Wall Street Journal. I'll add that too. Great, let's uh, save to library. And finally, I'll find an article from Wikipedia I want to listen to. And this time, instead of saving to library, I'll ask it to listen now. Now, when you're here in the library, you can see that all of them are loading. So I'm going to click on this Wikipedia article. For our brother uses, see listening, disambiguation. Here's another cool thing you can do is now that I have all these things in my library, I can long press on this file, click on these two other things that I want to have in the same folder, make a new folder, scroll down, create a new folder. I'm going to call it uh, Safari. Create. So now I have an article. So when I click play, listening, one is hearing. When it finishes this article, Shop giant asset managers it automatically skips to the next article that is inside the folder. The way my dad likes to use this feature is before he goes on any drive, he'll just go on his phone for five minutes in the driveway and he'll pick five articles that he really wants to listen to and he'll put them in the folder to fit together. And that's how to use the Safari feature inside of Speechify to import any article from any website or any app into the Speechify app.